Hi there. Um, today I want to talk about the Tildeverse. What is it? What is a tilde? Who started it? Uh, where can I go to find it? And what can I do there? <clears throat> so I'll, I'm going to keep this short and uh, hopefully do some future videos to talk a little bit more with some of the creators and administrators of the Tildeverse servers. Uh, but today, let's let's just kind of dive right in and talk a little bit about what it is. Um, so, starting off, if you head over to tildeverse.org, um, you can find a lot of wonderful info. Let's see here. Um, right. So, a tilde. What is a tilde? Uh, a tilde is a public access Unix system. Well, not necessarily Unix. Could be Linux. Could be BSD. Uh, in fact, we've we've even had a Windows server running as a tilde. Um, really what it is, it, it's a multi-user system where you can get a free account, log in, and do community activities on that server. Um, back in the 90s, um, that was kind of the thing, you know, it, whether it was your school or a local community or even a bulletin board, most systems that you were connecting to were multi-user, and they had a lot of fun uh, local um community type activities that built up a local culture. And that's kind of what the Tildeverse tries to recreate. Um, so tilde or tilde, tilda, however you want to pronounce it, um, it's the symbol um, that is on the back tick character. Um, let's see, can I show you a good tilde symbol? Tilde, there it is, this guy, the little swirly guy. Um, in a Unix environment or in a, a Nix environment, that is a synonym for your home folder. And so the Tildeverse, in a sense, is a home on the Internet. Um, you know, a lot of people these days, uh, computer savvy people, have their own website, have their own servers even. Um, but the Tildeverse is still, a, you know, a place that can appeal to them uh, and me. Uh, because it brings with it this community aspect that you don't get when you run your own um, your own little space. So the Tildeverse is a collection of these PubNix servers, public access servers, uh, that are loosely entwined with one another and mainly share uh, an IRC network uh, and occasionally some other protocols. So let's talk a little bit about that. Now, <clears throat> the member servers of the Tildeverse, the official ones, are listed here on the Tildeverse website under members. And if you go to the more details page, you can see uh, not only with the name of the server, you can find out a little bit about what it's for. So Aussies.space is a tilde located in Australia, and it's focused around Australian tilde users. You can find the system administrator of that one, what operating system it runs, what channel on the IRC network. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, where where kind of their home chat is, and uh, when the server was created. So there are some that are that have been around for quite a while. Um, if we look at uh, tilde.club, this was the first one. This was created on Tuesday, September 30th, 2014, and it was uh, created by Paul Ford. And there's a, 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 a a mildly famous, you know, within the Tilde community, uh, famous medium post where he talks about how he got drunk one night and created a server and got thousands of people that signed up. Um, this server, uh, server Tilde.club, has since transitioned over and it is now being run by DeepEnd and Ben, um, who uh, also runs some other servers as well. Ben um, Ben runs Tilde.team and the majority of the Tildeverse shared services. Um, but uh, there's a lot of different types of servers, and they have different flavors to them, if you will. Tilde.town is a particularly insular community. They don't share a lot of services, but they have a lot of users, and they have a lot of local community that's around making art, socializing, learning. Um, they don't share the same IRC network with the rest of the Tildeverse, but they do have a, a vibrant local one of their own. And they develop some really fun, cool uh, software and uh, and games that then get shared out and uh, used across all of the tildes and then beyond. Um, so there's a lot to explore and there's a lot to try out. But how? What do you do? What is you know what is available? Right. Well, at their heart, 
tildes are shell accounts. So you're going to need to sign up with one of them, and then you will want to uh, connect over SSH. Um, that's the uh, secure um, shell implementation. So let's take, it, for example, tilde.team here. Now, if I jump back over to my terminal, uh, I'm using a light theme right now. I'm going to make a separate video on that. I'm testing this out, and so far, I hate it. Um, let's see. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to connect to tilde.team. Uh, yeah. That's better. All right. And then we're going to SSH to tilde.team. All right. So, um, if you're not familiar with how to SSH, I think I've made a video on this before. No. Well, I'll make a video on that at some point, but it's fairly uh, easy to find out how to do it, uh, whether you're on Windows or Mac or Linux. Um, there's, there's usually instructions even on the sign-up pages for these tildes. But once you know how, you can connect to the server. And right now I am on uh, tilde.team. Apparently his host name is just tilde. Um, if I look back at this D message of the day, when I log in here, uh, Tilde.team gives me a bunch of information. There's 26 users currently logged in, for instance. Um, we're using quite a bit of swap, uh, a lot of processes. Um, looks like Ben has dedicated 491 gig uh, to the home folder here. So this is a pretty big server, and it involves a lot of different addresses. There's a lot of uh, games and activities that you can do here. Uh, and he even lists them out to start. Cool things you can do while you're here on Tilde Team. It gives you a, a list, um, including a special command he has where people can submit their own scripts, their own uh, tools that they've made. For instance, uh, I made PB, which is a, a command line way to paste information up into a paste bin. Um, Botany, which is a lovely game. It's kind of like uh, a Tamagotchi uh, where you can keep your own plant and water it and uh, visit your, your teammates' gardens and water their plants. Uh, this originated over on tilde.town, I believe. Um, but there's a lot of stuff here, including a, a bulletin board system, um, mail is available, instant messaging and, and talk, um, and lots of games. But beyond that, you also have full access to uh, create your own website. Um, Gemini, uh, the new protocol, I've talked about that in my What is Gemini video. Uh, many of the tildes offer Gopher servers as well. So you can make this your home. You know, this can be the, your go-to place to create content. Um, and you can see that um, uh, on the way some people really engage. So like if I go to uh, tilde.club, I mentioned this was the first one that uh, Paul Ford made. Um, he mentions somewhere on here the transition, uh, but you can see people that have um, paid in to support the server uh, are listed. Uh, all of these things are voluntary and free, but you can donate, uh, especially some of these bigger servers. They, they cost a bit to maintain. So you can see those people that have donated. You can also browse people's websites. Some of them have a wiki. Um, Synodesk is one of our our famous DJs uh, that runs a radio program uh, called the Intergalactic Wasabi Hour over on Tilde Radio. And that's right, we have tilderadio.org. This is a Azura cast uh, stream that's run um, and cared for from the Tilde servers. Uh, Deep End, who uh, is one of the, the admins of tilde.club, also runs this server. And it's uh, shared some administration with Ben as well. Uh, but people can sign up and stream their own shows. I have a, a trivia show that I run on the, the last Sunday of each month at uh, 2330, 1130 uh, UTC. Um, I also do some some shows on... What we got here? Oh, Sunday. Yeah, there it is coming up. Except... Not this Sunday. Uh, I also have some shows that I do on Tuesdays that are sci-fi based, uh, and I do a, a little 
fun um, drone show on Mondays as well. But you can see there's a lot of activity here. Snow Dusk uh, does the 1 a.m. or the, the 0100 UTC slot on four days a week. Great program. Recommend tuning in. You can find how to tune in on tildyradio.org. But you can also come chat over in the Tilde Radio chat room. So that would be... Uh, I'm zoomed in here so you can read my screen. Uh, what was that, like 27? Yeah, there we go. So in this room, um, this is the, the IRC channel for Tilde Radio. Uh, people will jump in here and chat while they're streaming, uh, or other people will chat while someone else is streaming. It gets pretty rowdy uh, during like Snow Dusk shows uh, that are very popular, but um, it's, it's a great place to come hang out. But not just for Tilda Radio, there's individual channels for most of the services and uh, servers that are available on the Tildaverse. Um, so Cosmic, uh, Cosmic.Voyage, is one of the Tildas that I run, uh, and it is, it's not just a general purpose Tilda, it's not a place where you go to make a website, um, it is a place where we have a shared story. Um, well, semi-shared story. Cosmic.voyage. On this server, we have um, a sci-fi basis for storytelling and um, a system where people can write their own storylines and kind of relay those stories back uh, to a central hub. And that's what we get here. It's, it's an epistolatory, like a letter writing uh, way to, to hear stories from people deep in space. Um, and the users that sign up are generating all of this content. I have a few ships uh, or outposts that, that do some of the writing, um, but there are many. So these are different ships that people have created or different storylines people have created. Uh, the Melcon Cordo here, for instance, uh, you can see has had several um, really interesting logs over, over the last couple of years that the uh, server has been running. Uh, and some people do some some cool header stuff with it. Um, some people just write the text. There's a lot of ways you can do it, uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. So we have some of these specialty Tilde communities like that, like Cosmic Voyage, and then there's some of the general purpose ones like Tilde Club, Tilde Team, um, well Tilde Institute, which is kind of a general purpose one but built on OpenBSD. Um, so there's a lot of different things available there. And they, and like I said, they share a lot of services. The IRC network is actually run on multiple nodes on different tildes. So you can connect in and there's a round robin and, and it'll hopefully connect you to a quick one uh, or one that's not overwhelmed. Um, but beyond that, we also share some services like Net News. Uh, the old Usenet system is, uh, is available across several tildes. Um, we have the finger protocol running a lot. Uh, so it's it's very customized by the different service. So if I were to finger Tomasino at cosmic.voyage, you can see um, my response is going to tell you which ships or storylines I'm working on. And you know, all of this information is available um, based on the scripts that we've written on Cosmic Voyage. You'll get totally different output if you were to, to finger someone else. Um, Cat <laughs> is apparently working on fixing uh, his <clears throat> his finger account here. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to explore, a lot to do, but where do you get started? Uh, well, the answer to that is tildiverse.org. Uh, pop over here, take a look at some of these services that are available. Sometimes you don't even need to sign up for a tilde account on a specific tilde before you engage. Uh, for instance, we have a Mastodon client over at tilde.zone. You don't have to be a uh, Tildeverse uh, member in order to sign up here, although you certainly can. Uh, we have an RSS reader, uh, Cryptpad, um, the chat network, irc.tilde.chat. Uh, it has a website here that explains how to connect to it. And if you don't uh, use IRC much, or you're not sure how to get there, there are multiple web chat clients that you can use to connect to the server as well. We have a Write Freely account. Uh, we're running a Jitsi service as well. So if you want to do video conferencing, we can do that. Uh, hosted, again, by the Tildiverse. 
Um, there's a zine. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have this overall account for all of the Tilted Verses available on Gopher as well. Um, an RFC system where people kind of write their own informal tilde RFCs. Uh, and there's some pretty interesting stuff going on in there. Um, we run our own NIC. So if you have this set up, you can use the dot tilde DNS information. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have some users that have been driving a, a resurgence in UUCP. So there's several nodes there. If you're familiar with, with how UUCP works, um, there are several things that are hooked up to do that as well. And we have Git services. So uh, there's a uh, Gitia, Gitia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, client running at tilde git.org uh, and <clears throat> tilde git.org, if I can spell. Is it not tilde git.org? tilde git.org. All right, well, it is totally running there. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, in order to sign up here, you can register a account, but your email address has to be at one of the tilde servers. So first sign up for a tilde account somewhere, and then you can use that to sign up here and uh, and host your, um, your Git services. You can then even hook it into Drone. Very cool. And do some automation. <coughs> um, Tilde.tel, we have a uh, VoIP or, or SIP service. It's private to the Tildeverse. Um, again, if you have an account on a Tilde, then you can get an account on Tel and you can hook up. Uh, I have Zoiper running, uh, but you can use Linfo. You can use, if you have an actual IP phone, you can hook into that and, and dial around. And there's some fun stuff on there. Um, so not only can you get an, uh, an account, but if you look at the phone book here, um, <clears throat> there are this special block called the 1900s where people can submit their own um, server handlers uh, for different extensions. So I run the extension 1969, where if you call that number on tilde tell, you'll get a story from me. Uh, right now, I've been working through Aesop's Fables, so that's what's kind of available there. Uh, but there's a bunch of fun stuff. There's party lines, um, there's a conference bridge. Uh, just, you can listen to the Tildeverse radio music stream as hold music, <laughs> and then you can, can call other users as well. So there's a ton of stuff available here, including Minecraft, and new stuff pops up all the time because... All of this is just things that people are running off of individual tilde servers and making available to the community at large. Uh, it really does try to, to expand and, and be this big community uh, where people can come and hang out and, and feel close to other people, you know, and not anonymous on this giant web. Um, so, yeah, I, I do recommend checking it out. And if you if you're not comfortable with the command line skills, then even more so come check it out. Pick uh, one of the servers that's geared toward education. Uh, read about these members in, in the CMAR details or pop into the IRC network on tilde.chat using the web um, client and it, it'll kick you into uh, tilde.chat. It'll kick you into the help desk by default. So I'll go to Kiwi IRC here. It'll kick you into help desk and you can talk to people there um, and kind of figure out what is the right spot for you to start at and learn. Um, they'll help uh, walk you through setting up whatever client you need to get started and get you in there and get you playing. Uh, pick up Botany a little bit, jump into IRC and hang out. Um, maybe you're, uh, you're a you know, soon-to-be famous radio DJ. Who knows? Anyway, I, uh, I hope to come back and do some more of these videos a little bit more in-depth with, uh, with Ben, um, with Vil, who runs Tilde Town, um, and, and some others to kind of get their perspective on what makes the Tildiverse special and uh, what they do to, to keep it running. Um, but I hope this was enough to inspire you to check it out and get started. Thanks.